Brosai, King of the Brosian. However, he is only under one name in your programs today. Here is our valedictorian, Ian Young. Find 
define your tastes. I think that this is one of the best things that Twinfield has to offer. But, unfortunately, all meals have to come to an end. This is very unfortunate, especially for me, because I really like to eat, perhaps you noticed. Now, the Twinfield Buffet is no different. It's coming to an end. Today, we're striding out of these halls, food babies gestating in our bellies, as we contemplate what to do next. I personally am looking forward to a bit of a more varied diet next year, trying some more exotic foods. But I'm also going to miss everything here at Twinfield. Recently, I've been asking myself, how am I going to ever enter a building, any building, without seeing Wyatt Healy as the first thing I do as I have every day this year in this building, including today, in fact, enter the building and see Wyatt at the end of the hallway and have him give me a and a wink before he envelops me in his gigantic man embrace. How will I be able to possibly ever study English without Danica coming out to me and... Actually, that's not really appropriate for this thing. How will I spend my time between any classes without having Julie waiting in her classroom for me to rush in and tell her about the Buffy the Vampire Slayer episode that I watched last night? How will I stand studying at a school where there are no little kids? No Dorothy and Jack Whalen running down the hallway to interrupt me while I'm studying, even if they just want to hug or a kid to cry or tell me something. No Adam Blackwood to give me a high five in the hallway and then have this huge smile on his face that's so large that I'm afraid it might get stuck that way. How will I ever eat lunch without Mr. Wanzer coming in and telling me, Hey gang, how's it going? Expecting me in class in about five minutes. I'm interested in this gravity stuff. I'm not really sure if I understand it myself, but I'm thinking we'll do some experiments and we'll figure it out. It'll be fun. I'll see you there soon. How will I ever be able to do research at a computer without Ethan Warshow rolling his chair over me and telling me that this is stuff with the most important astronomical news in the world? There is a Wikipedia page that details all of the American presidents and what face they wore during their terms. <laughs> and most scarily and importantly, how could I ever possibly survive not living in the same state, but possibly even in the same country as Brenda? All these questions seem really, really important to me now, as you can probably tell, but I feel like soon they'll seem a little bit less important, and they'll be answered, probably without you really noticing, because that's what life is. So, I'd like to just say that all of us have become kind of a functional, dysfunctional family in the last 13 years. I want, I want us to acknowledge and love that, and I also want to ask that when we leave Twinfield today, some of you may be feeling like after this huge feast, you just kind of sit and heavy and you want to regurgitate it all. I would ask that you don't do that. Keep it down, even if it's a bit difficult. Digest it and let it become a part of you so that this experience never leaves us later on. As for me, I'm looking forward to a wide variety of food that this world has to offer, as I'm sure we all are. I'm sure that there will be something unidentifiable, unidentifiable, unpleasant, and rubbery for everything tasty that I encounter, but that's okay. That's part of the fun. I also know that when I leave Twinfield, if things ever get too difficult, if things ever get too rough, I'll have this time to look back at, and I'll also have this place, and I feel confident that any time in my life when things are getting difficult, I can drive up the driveway here, park in front of the school, walk through the red doors out front, turn left down the elementary school hallway, probably past Carolyn sweeping along and trying not to look at me like she doesn't even notice I'm there when really I know that she notices that I'm there. <laughs> and then I can go into the second to last classroom on the left of the elementary school hallway 
open that door, walk in, and be met by Miss Mayola, probably looking exactly the same as I remember her in elementary school, and she will give me a big hug and a kiss on the cheek. Thank you.